guys, it's Jennifer Amazon, and I have a very different video for you today. It is, what is inside my traveling art bag? <laughs> As an artist, you will find yourself traveling to different places, whether it's a zoo, a park, anywhere. You can go anywhere and make art anywhere. So if you have it in mind that you're going somewhere, um, to make some art, you need to come prepared. Now this is my go-to bag. I absolutely love this bag. And I actually got it as a gift. And the girl who designed it happens to have graduated from the same school that I went to, FIT. So I was very happy to have a bag that was designed by someone who went to the same school as I. It's always good to like support. So. Let's get into it. All right. This might seem a little strange, but I happen to have a blanket in my bag. It's a little one. It's a baby blanket. It's actually my son's. And this is great to use if you're going somewhere where you're not sure if there's going to be seating. Let's say you're at a park. Um, the ground could be really dirty or muddy and rocky you have no idea what the terrain could be where you wind up and this just ensures that you have a place to kind of sit down and it's kind of comfortable because you'll be sitting down and you have no idea for how long you're gonna get into it at least you'll have some comfort all right so blanket out of the way next thing some essentials here bottle of water I have this great little pocket on the side here that it fits right into so stay hydrated and don't go hungry. So I packed um, snacks for myself. So I have an apple, fresh fruit um, or vegetables is really great to have on you because once you eat it, it's gone, you throw it out, you don't have to keep carrying it around. Um, and I also have it here, more like a snacky kind of thing. These are absolutely delicious. They are vegan oatmeal, cranberry, dark chocolate, coconut cookies. <laughs> um, I got the recipe from, oh, what's the name of this site? Um, Hot for Food. It's like all vegan, homemade, great stuff. And I can't wait to make some more recipes from them. These are fantastic. Um, so yes, have a snack on you because when you go somewhere, you don't know if there's going to be food options available. And if you get into a drawing, you don't want to have to stop and go, you know, go round up some food. This allows you to focus on your craft. So drinks and snacks away. Next up, let's get down to the good stuff. I bring with me two sketchbooks. <laughs> I have a small one. It's got this little band here to keep it closed. I love it. It's so cute. This I usually keep on me because of the size. It's very easy to carry around. It's great for drawing um, with dry medium. So um, pencil, that kind of stuff. Look at that craziness going on right there. That's gonna be a painting at some point. I can put ink in this. Um, it can withstand some of it, but you can't go too wet with this. Mostly, uh, it's more of a dry sketchbook. Like that's some ink stuff that I have there, but couldn't go too much with it. So this is great to have if you want to do something small. And then of course, field sketchbook. This is a large book. This is toned tan. This is by Strathmore. Um, they have pretty good sketchbooks. I like the quality of the paper that they have. And I'm all about working from a toned surface. It just, it adds something to the drawing. Um, here's something I did when I went to a local park. Um, this can withstand inks for sure. Some colored pencil in here. Let me pull up an ink one to show. Uh, this one I did for the chainmail challenge. Please see another video about that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so inks uh, really do well in this book too. So I have my two sketchbooks, depending on what it is that I'm drawing, I'm prepared. Now, materials that I need 
to draw my tools. I have this large uh, pencil case and inside I have my, my dry medium. So I'm gonna run through with you what I have in here. I have a set of basic uh, drawing pencils. I like to work with B's as opposed to H's because it blends really well. H is great for, you know, more technical type drawings and the B's just blend so beautifully. These are Faber-Castell. they probably my favorite brand of art supplies. Um, so I have different um, I don't know, can you see it? Can you see it? Is it focusing? Yes, it is. So there's different variations here. I have a 4B, a regular B, a 6B, HB, 2B, HB. To be or not to be. Take your 2Bs, all right? Then I have in here a, well, I had a pencil sharpener. I think my student took it again. She keeps taking my supplies. <laughs> But that's all right. She's adorable. So I also have a eraser to go with those. Um, a mechanical pencil. And what else, what else, what else? I have my set of colored pencils. So, for example, if you're going to a park and you generally know the types of colors you're gonna be running into, you wanna hand select um, a palette. So this is sort of my neutral landscape. It's gonna be a lot of greens, a lot of orange and browns, um, maybe some blue, maybe some purple, you know, just for some shadows. So I'm not gonna bring my whole set because I have a lot of colored pencils. So I'm only gonna bring a couple that I think I'll need. So these go right back in here, zip it on up, and we're good. Okay, so in my bag, I have another pouch over here, which I kind of keep empty. And in the front, my poor baby, it busted. I gotta get it fixed, it's so worth getting fixed. I'll keep things in here that I'll need sort of like quick access to, but not like, oh my God, if I lose this, you know, you don't want to put stuff where it's easy to grab. I know, always a New Yorker, that will always be in my mind. Um, pair of shades, if it's sunny out. And I'll also throw in either some hand sanitizer, some SPF, if you're gonna be out in the sun, you know, definitely have that on you and consider, you know, wearing a hat. All right, so that's not it with the art supplies, guys. Check it out bag inside of a bag i'm all about that how adorable is this i love this tote bag i love it i made it <laughs> of course i did <laughs> so inside here are my absolute favorite 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 art supplies ever this is like my wet mediums so i have all my pens now these are again faber castell and they are brush pens they come in such an assortment of colors and they're just absolutely fantastic. Like, take a look. It's a brush tip. So depending on how you're drawing, this will sort of bend and flex according to what you need it to do. And I also have, they made um, a set of larger ones. So that's a really big brush. I needed it and in addition to this I have some microns in here for some really you know fine detail um, the Faber they did have a set for a while I don't know if they still have it I hope so because I'm running out um, where there are these little nibs and there's different sizes there's like a fine a medium um, a larger one and this is very much an essential. It is a white gel pen, which I've just got turned on to this and I absolutely love it because it's great for bringing out highlights and it just, it really makes it pop in a way that a white colored pencil can't do. This is just more vibrant. So I probably have a good, uh, I wanna say 40, maybe 50 pens in here. It's never enough. <laughs> so I love these. These are my favorite go-to. Love them. So that's inside the bag too. Um, all right. There's other stuff in here. This is my Mary Poppins bag. My camera. 
So definitely bring a camera with you um, if you find something you want to get a reference shot of that you don't have time to draw. You know, take some shots. That way you'll always have it with you if you, you know, if this is a far away location. Um, it's not easily accessible or you want to finish up a drawing later on in your day or the next day. Take a shot of it. Take a couple shots of it. You got it. You're ready to go. Of course, um, this is my cell phone case. So I keep that on the inside, the main pocket here, so that doesn't get fallen out. And you know, that's it. It's the end of it's the end of the road. <laughs> so I got that baby. Um, next, your essentials. These are the necessities you cannot live without. You cannot leave your home without it. I will say that you can live without it. Just. Alright, uh, I'm not making any sense right now. <laughs> Alright, so for this, I love this little bag. It has a little key ring here that's attached to it. So you have your house keys on here or you put your car keys. Um, money, not enough, but it's in there. Um, my ID. Um, possibly a debit card or a credit card for an emergency. And of course, my lip balm. In fact, get a little something something <laughs> that is definitely a necessity I can't leave home without a lip balm so I put that in there zip it up and then I would put that in the inner zip pocket to keep that safe you don't want anyone grabbing your bag taking it or just falling out you know and then the last bag I have in here is another little zip up and this I keep my feminine products I'm not going to show you because that's just weird. But ladies, you have to have this on hand. Even if it's not that, if you got this is a girl in need, help her out, okay? Um, <laughs> so that goes inside the zip. Zip it on up. It's safe. You're good to go. So that is what's inside my art bag. And some tips to keep in mind when you are traveling somewhere for your art adventure. Keep it light. You know, this is it. This is as big as a, as a bag as I will go and everything's gotta fit in there. That's why I didn't select, you know, like a large bulky wallet. I just threw, you know, some cash and my ID in there. You don't wanna be weighed down buy too much stuff. Just keep it simple, keep it to the point, and yeah, <laughs> you're ready to go travel and make some art. So thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have an art bag, what do you keep in it? And is it different from what I keep in it? I'm sure it is. Let me know. Is there something that you think I may have left out? Let me know. Comments below and check out my other videos. Let me know what you guys think and anything else you wanna learn about or have me create a video, I'm open to suggestions. So thanks again and um, yeah, go make some art. <laughs>